Hi everybody, Nathan B here. Uh, got a video for you today on uh, securing um, our uh, private SSH keys. Um, we've all been downloading these PAM and PPK files from Azure and AWS. And so I wanted to share with you what I'm doing as a solution to secure um, these, these keys and also you know some of the redundancy pieces that 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 I'm I'm, I'm using to to protect the keys as well from from some sort of corruption of the file. So firstly, I went and bought myself a while back uh, two keys, um, the same the same uh, version of keys. Uh, you could get different ones because that could be a, another good strategy. But I got the same ones, and so I stored my PIM key, the same key, on both of these uh, devices that are both encrypted. And I'm going to show you how to set that up. Uh, but first and foremost, uh, I wanted to say that even though this is a, these are encrypted drives, this guy should never be installed or copied to uh, a USB key in general, right? The seed phrases for your hardware wallets, never do that. Never create a digital copy because if you create a digital copy, these have to plug into something like a Mac or a PC, and that's just never a good idea. So as I said, keep the seed phrases off computers or USBs or cameras or anything like that, cell phones. So you may be saying, well, why have you got two of the same drive? Can't you just have one? Sure, you could, but if I only had one of these keys um, and it worked fine connecting to my node, but one day this actual drive that I use all the time to plug in and plug out, um, it failed. Then I don't have another copy. So that's obviously why I have two is to not create that single point of failure. Okay, so I'll get this screen all set up and we'll go through uh, the steps. All right, so the first step we need uh, to format this drive. It's a brand new drive. So I want you to right click on, this is in Windows. I want you to right click on the drive after plugging it in and select format. And this is gonna wipe the drive itself. So the file system here is either NTFS or, or one of these options, but I want you to select NTFS because we need that option. Um, you can give it a, 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 a label. Actually, you might wanna give it a label um, like, you know, disk uh, one, right? So this is my primary disk that I'm going to use. So disk one, crypto disk one, whatever you want to do. Uh, quick format start, and it's giving this message that we are going to erase that drive, format it, but I have no data on there, so I'm okay with that. All right. All right, so once that's done, um, uh, the next step here is that you need to encrypt the drive. Okay, so I'm going to right click on in Windows 11. You're going to select this uh, properties here. I'm sorry, right click on it and select show more options. All right, so yeah, five steps down here, you have this turn on BitLocker. And BitLocker is an inbuilt tool in Windows to encrypt uh, drives, um, external drives, or direct attached drives. So we're going to select that. Now, BitLocker does only come with Windows 11 Enterprise and Pro. So if you do have Home, then you may have to look at some other third party uh, option for encryption or encrypting the USB drives. Okay, so I'm gonna add a password here. And this password, oops, this password, um, you're going to need to enter this every time that you you know stick the drive in to connect to your node. So let's click on next here. And there's a recovery key associated with the drive and the password, right? So like plan B. Um, you can save it to a file, but in this case, what I do is actually physically print them out to paper. Um, but for this example, I'm going to print to a PDF so we can take a look at this. So I'm going to select print to PDF. Okay, so I'm just going to print that so we can see it. 
Okay, so I'm going to just save this and then bring it over so you can see. So, so I think I called this disk one. Save that. While that is coming up, I will click on next just to save this out. I'm going to select the first one here because it is empty and it's going to start encrypting. So I can leave that that encryption running. Um, so while that is going, I'm going to show you this. Right, so this this is the recovery key here. So if you lost that password, um, now that you forgot the password, then you have that that printed out, um, or you, this this printed out recovery key, and you could enter that manually, and it will unlock the drive. I print these out and put it with things like my seed phrase, etc. So I'm going to close that down now, and I'm going to wait for this to finish, and then come back. Okay, you can see the encryption has complete now on my uh, primary USB stick. So I'm going to close that. And now I know that the drive is encrypted. So, so the next step here is what I want to do is I'm going to go and find my PEM or my PPK file. In this case, I have a PEM file. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna right click on this and I'm gonna copy it. I'm not gonna cut it or I just don't want one copy for now. I'm just gonna then see if I can paste it in here and I'm gonna open it up as well just to see if it does go in there. Okay, that didn't work, let me try again. Okay, there it goes now. All right, so I've got two copies of it now. Okay, so I've got one on my local uh, PC in this case, and I now have one on the USB stick. So I'm gonna go back up here. And this time there are some permissions that you have to change on the file um, and the, the, the drive itself. So before I do that, I want to show you uh, some of the errors that we have been seeing with uh, using PEM and PPK files. Um, so within Windows, what you can do is you can just go down to this search and in this search, you can just type in CMD and hit enter. On a Mac, it's gonna be terminal for this step. Okay, so I'm just gonna um, cd backslash that. Okay, now, um, so what we wanna do is I'm gonna connect to my node. I'm just gonna make this a little larger. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to just paste in my information here. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this up a little bit and so we can see that looks good. Okay, so zoom in here. All right, so we so we we've all been SSHing. Um, that's the service over port twenty two. Um, there's a parameter switch here, um, and then you can see here that I'm actually using the D drive here, which is my USB stick where the PEM file is, and that was the key that uh, the PEM key that I just uh, copied to there. And then that's the Azure user account, obviously, the, and then there's the IP address. So let's see what happens when I try and connect to my node with my USB stick. This is a common error that, that we've been seeing where, and I'm, I can see on the Discord right now, someone has the, the, the same issue. So, um, so I wanna get this video out so I can get back and answer them. But uh, it's, it's, it's bad permissions. And the reason is, is on that file, uh, Windows has inherited more than just um, read access for, for the user that I'm actually logged on as right now. Um, so to fix this, what I want to do is I'll go back and 
um, clear the screen and I want to bring this again to the um, forefront here and go back inside the drive and find our PEM file. We want to right click on that and go down to show more options and then click on properties. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to go into secure the security tab here and I want to edit this and then I want to click on add. Okay. And in here you want to, um, what you want to do is you want to put in the user account that you're logged on as. Now I know mine is this, so I'm just going to check that name and you can see it resolves it. To find out what your name, the, the, the profile name that, that you're on right now, you can run this command back in your command window, <clears throat> excuse me, who am I, and hit enter and then it will show you, um, you know, who, you know the, the, the name here, you can see that that's the name. So I'm going to just clear that. Okay, I'm going to go, move this out of the way. I'm going to go back to where we were. Okay, so I'm going to click on OK to that. And I'm going to give myself just this read permission. That's all I need for my user account logged on. All right, now I'm going to select apply to that. I'm going to click on um, OK. Now, what you need to do now is go back into advanced in when we're looking at the properties of the file under the security tab. And now what you need to do is select this option of uh, disabling inheritance. Okay. Um, move all inheritance from this object, select that, and then select apply. And you can only see the one user account there. Click on OK, and then you'll see here that the end result here is that that PEM file just has your user account with read access on the file. Okay, now I'm going to click on OK and I'm gonna run my command again, which you can see is SSH using that file, username to Azure and the public IP address of my uh, node. So I'm gonna hit enter this time and you can see we are in to the box. So yeah, I mean, it's literally running, um, you know, running an SSH session from this PEM file on this encrypted drive uh, straight to SSH, so, uh, straight to my node. So if I pull this drive out now, um, that should disappear. If I type exit here, and then I try and run it again, you can see that it fails. It can't find the key. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just plug this drive back in. To, to my machine, you can hear it there, I think. Um, okay, so it's telling me that the drive is uh, BitLocker protected, good. So you can see here that it comes up and says, hey, password, I'm gonna add that password. I think I did fat finger that, but let's just try. That's okay. It's working. Got it. All right, so it opens up. I want to connect to my node on my uh, use my private key on my encrypted drive now, and I run it again, and I'm straight in connected to my to my node there. So, um, yeah. All right. So the last thing I wanted to show you is a little trick that might help some folks out there. Is I'm going to close this down because I don't need that. In Windows. Um, you can probably do this in terminal, I'm not sure on a Mac, but in Windows, here is that same um, command here, okay? So once you get it all working with my steps, what you can do is you can create a text file and, and just create this simple line here, um, add echo off, um, put your line in there connecting to your encrypted drive, 
and then I'm going to click on file and I'm going to go save as here and I'm going to save it to my desktop here um, and I'm going to call it node um, dot bat okay so that's what you're going to you're going to need to save it as an extension dot bat here I'm going to save that I'm going to close that down and every time that I want to say go and connect to my node one day to check something out I grab my encrypted drive here with my PEM file on it. I plug it in. It's going to ask me for that password. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to put the password in to access that encrypted drive. I hit enter. I go to my node file here. I double click on it within Windows. and I'm straight in. So hopefully this helped um, you out to secure your drive. Uh, do all those steps on the second drive, um, which is gonna be your backup. You should never use that. Always use your primary drive to, to wear that one out. And your second one just takes a copy of it. Every time I make it some, you know, add something, make a change to my primary drive, I then just put them both into Windows and copy it across manually and override it. That's the way I've done it. Um, so yeah, hope this helps. Uh, leave me some uh, questions or comments below um, or hit me up in Discord. Until next time, take care. Bye.